You won't be successful using flint and steel to start a fire unless you have a good rock. We're going to show you how to find a good rock and where to look for one. Flint is a loose category. The flint family includes quartz, chert, obsidian, agate, or jasper. The criterion is the rock has to have a large silica content, so it's harder than the steel. Good places to look for these sparky rocks are in creek beds or on rocky slopes near hills and mountains. This is one of my favorite rock hunting sites. It's in the Oregon high desert, miles away from any place else, and it's one of my favorite camping spots with the Boy Scouts. We call it Jasper Valley. We find a lot of jasper here, obviously, where we look is on the washout part of the hill. After a rain, it's easy to find the good rock. At the other extreme is this little creek in Mississippi. I have a feeling that this area was probably pretty popular among the indigenous folks. They would come here to sit here where it was cool. They would come here to probably swim in the pool, let the kids play there. The adults would come over here and start making tools. Many of the rocks they would pick up in this creek would work very well for tools. After a good rain, the gravel bar below this little waterfall tends to move around, shift, and dig up all sorts of rocks that probably have not seen the light of day in eons. This gravel bar is a great place to look for a sparky rock. What I'm going to find is that uh, we're going to look for something like this. It looked like that when I picked it up. It's been chipped and apparently been worked. I'm not sure. Who knows, maybe some ancient tool maker stood on this sandbar. Who knows when. Looked at this, decided to try to chip out an arrowhead or something, and gave it up. Then it became leverite. Leverite is the type of stone that's left after a failed tool manufacture. The maker will decide he can't use it, toss it on the ground, and leave it right there. Picked up this rock too. It looks like it has been chipped or worked or something like that. It has a bunch of sharp edges here. To tell if the rock is going to spark, Take along your striker, and when you find a likely candidate, give it a whack. A very enjoyable part of bushcrafting is to go out and just see what you can find to use. Get interested in edible or medicinal plants, and I guarantee you're going to start seeing them everywhere you go. And when you start using flint and steel for fire making, you'll be looking for rocks, and your friends will start bringing them to you. The rock is just one component of your flint and steel kit. You also need a striker and a charred material to catch the spark. All of these can be acquired or made easily. A big attraction to bushcrafting is learning how to use things you find in nature. Flint and steel fire making is a very valuable skill to learn and you have to start by finding your rock. This is Survival Common Sense. Thank you for watching.